let's deal in cents. So, two quantities U2 minus Q1 is equal to 30 more flowers. Okay, now Q2 is if she spent two dollars or 200 cents. Okay, so and uh, upon the price and Q1 is 100 cents upon the price here. So, see in this case, she would have saved, saved 60, 60 cents per dozen. That means per flower, she would have saved 5 cents, right? She would have saved 5 cents. And therefore, if the price here is P, in this case, the price would be P minus 5. She would have saved 5 cents per dollar. So, this is one equation, one variable. You can solve it. Or intuitively, you can put values. See, such bigger values are, of course, not going to be possible because we are looking for 100 upon P as the first quantity that she actually bought. So, for 100 upon P to be such a big number, 40, P will have to be really small and then 5 could not be subtra subtracted from P. So, such bigger numbers are, of course, not going to be possible. You know, so you can try one of the smaller numbers. You will see 15 is not possible because 100 upon 15 will not be an integer. 100 upon 20 will be exa exactly 5. So, let's try 20. 100 upon 20 is 5. 200 upon 15 will not be an integer. So, 20 is also not possible. And let's try 10. 200 upon 10 minus 5. 200 upon 5, which is 40 minus 100 upon 10. So, 40 minus 10 is equal to 30. So, 10 is a number which is satisfying or you could have made it a quadratic equation and solved it. E is the right answer.